Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about 1 by 2 D multiplexer in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. In the previous video, we are already discussed what is demultiplexer, what is the block diagram of demultiplexer, how demultiplexer works and what are the applications of demultiplexer. These are the points that we are discussed already in the previous video. If anybody wants, please refer that video. Now, how 1 by 2 D multiplexer can work? What is the truth table of 1 by 2 D multiplexer? How logical expressions we are getting from the truth table? How we are designing the logic circuit of D multiplexer? So these are the four points that we are discussed in this video. So this is the block diagram of 1 by 2 D multiplexer. As the name implies, 1 by 2 D multiplexer can take only one input and produce two outputs by using one selection line. Here, the input line can be denoted by A. And the two outputs are denoted by Y0 and Y1. And one selection line is denoted by S0. And this is the enable input. So, 1 by 2 D multiplexer can also be called as 1 by 2 D mux. It can take one input that is A and produce two outputs Y0 and Y1 by using only one selection line that is S0. Here the input line, single input line is connected to one of the two outputs by using the selection line S0. Suppose if S0 value is equal to 0, then the input line A is connected to Y0. Then Y0 output is selected. Y0 output is selected. Then input line A is connected to Y0. Suppose if S0 value is equal to 1, then Y1 output is selected, then input line A is connected to Y1 output. Okay. If S0 value is equal to 0, Y0 output is selected, that is the first output is selected, then input A is connected to Y0. Next, if S0 value is equal to 1, then second output is selected, that is Y1. The single input line A is connected to Y1 output. Okay, that means input line A is connected to one of the two outputs that is Y0 and Y1 based on the selection input value. If S0 value is equal to 0, Y0 output is selected, then input line A is connected to Y0. If S0 value is equal to 1, then Y1 output is selected, that is the second output, then input line A is connected to Y1. That means which output is selected is controlled by the selection line S0. Then this can be called as control input. 
Okay. This entire operation can be done when the enable input E value is equal to 1. If E value is equal to 1, the demultiplexer can perform its operation. Suppose if E value is equal to 0, we can say that the demultiplexer does not perform its operation. Okay. Now, Truth table of 1 by 2 D multiplexer. Here the inputs, the truth table contains two parts. One is the inputs and the second one is outputs. Here what are the outputs are there? So that is Y0, Y1. Okay. Here the inputs can be taken as the selection line. Okay. So, whatever the selection line is there, that selection line can be taken as input. That is S0. Okay. If S0 value is equal to 0, among the two outputs, which output is selected? So, if S0 value is equal to 0, Y0 output is selected. Then, the input line A is connected to output line Y0. At Y0, we have to write input line A is connected to Y0. Next, this value is 0. Next one. S0 value, suppose it is 1. Which output line is selected? That is Y1 output is selected. That is the second output is selected. The input line A is connected to Y1. So at Y1, we have to write input line A is connected to Y1. The remaining value is G. Okay. So this is the truth table of 1 by 2 D multiplexer. In the truth table, in the input column, we are taking only selection lines. Okay. In the output column, whatever the outputs are there, that outputs are as it is, we have to write. Based on the selection input value, which output line is selected at that place, we have to write the input value. Okay. So, S0 value is 0, first output is selected. S0 value is 1, second output is selected. Okay. Next one. How to write the logical expressions for the outputs Y0 and Y1? First, we have to write the logical expression for output line Y0. Okay. So, now observe the Y0 column. In that Y0 column, at which place A is there? Here, A is there. Here, the corresponding S0 value is 0. If S0 value is equal to 0, that can be written as S0 bar. Okay. If S0 bar value is equal to 0, Y0 output is selected. Then, so, input line A is connected to output line Y0. So, here, input line, we have to write K. S0 bar A. So, this is S0 bar. And this is A because we have to write the logical expression for Y0. So, here Y0 corresponding value is A. So, S0 value 0 means we have to write S0 bar and Y0 value is A. Here we have to write A. Next, we have to write the logical expression for the output line Y1. So, observe the Y1 column where the a input line A is there. Here, A is there. The corresponding S0 value is 1. S0 value is 1 means we have to write S0. And what is the input value here? A. Input value here, A. Okay. So, these are the two logical expressions for the outputs Y0 and Y1 in 1 by 2 demultiplexer. Once we are getting these logical expressions, now how to write the, 
how to draw the logic circuit of 1 by 2 d multiplexer. Now, here in that expressions only two values are there S0 and A. Okay. So, S0 contains sometimes S0 value is 0, sometimes S0 value is 1. So, that we have to write S0 value. So, S0 value is 1 means it indicates this line. Okay. S0 value 0 means we have to add the not gate. Okay. So, this line is S0 and this line is S0 bar. So, here A is always 1 so that we have to write the straight line. Okay. Now, first we have to draw the, uh, draw the logic circuit for Y0. Okay. Y0 is equal to S0 bar A. So, S0 bar means this line. And the A line is this one. So, these two are connected to 1 and 8. So, what is this output? That is Y0. So, this is S0 bar and this is A. So, Y0 is equal to S0 bar A. Okay. S0 bar line and A line is given to the input for the AND gate, then we are getting S0 bar A. Next one is Y1. Y1 value is S0 A. The Boolean expression for Y1 is S0 A. S0 is this one and A is this line. These two inputs are connected to two input and gate. So then this output line is Y1. Okay. So this is the simple logic circuit for 1 by 2 D multiplexer. Okay. So this can be drawn by using this expression. This can be drawn by using this expression. These two expressions we are getting by using this truth table. This truth table can be drawn by using this block diagram. Okay. So, this is the first part, second part, third part and fourth part. Okay. I hope all of you understand how to draw the block diagram of 1 by 2 D multiplexer. How to construct the truth table for 1 by 2 D multiplexer and how to write the logical expressions from the truth table of 1 by 2 D multiplexer and how to draw the logic circuit of 1 by 2 D multiplexer. So, thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you have any doubts in this concept, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. And also for better understanding of this video, please refer the introduction video of D multiplexer. If you really like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Devela Srinivasarao. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.